Nearly five months after a fatal fire claimed the lives of six Airbnb renters in Old Montreal, the city has launched a pilot project to crack down on illegal short-term rentals. CTV's Quebec Bureau Chief Jean-Vier Bushman on an issue many municipalities are struggling with. City inspectors in Montreal go door to door, collecting evidence, checking addresses of online listings for short-term rentals. We're trying to figure out if uh, everything is according to, uh, to the, the law, what the law says. If not, hosts and online platforms face thousands of dollars in fines. A crackdown in the wake of a deadly fire in March. Flames engulfed a historic building in Old Montreal. For two days, firefighters believed only one person was missing, but seven were found dead. Six were staying in short-term rental units illegal in this part of Montreal. Other cities, too, including Vancouver, are rooting out illegal units and violations. Our city is experiencing a housing crisis, and there are some people take advantage of our system. And it will soon get extra help from the province to clean up the system. British Columbia is drafting new legislation expected in the fall. Quebec has already brought in its new law calling for $50,000 fines for hosts posting fake registration numbers and even steeper fines for operators of digital platforms. But it doesn't come into effect until September 1st. A quick search on Airbnb today uncovered suspicious registration numbers, several sharing the code 123456. Airbnb says the law is not yet on the books, but that it has given the province the ability to remove ineligible listings and is looking forward to working with the province in the months to come. The city's crackdown is targeting concerns about security, of course, but is also looking into issues regarding cleanliness and noise. And while this pilot project started just this week, inspectors in Montreal have already flagged several violations. Jean-Pierre Beauchemin, CTV News, Montreal.